think if I just focus on like keeping everything just low focus, stay on, yeah. and on this stay thing, and on your foot. stay on it. Skylar Gauthier is not your everyday, ordinary track and field athlete. She competes in the pentathlon, and that means she can do it all. You have so many different events that you have to really focus on, and I don't know, I get kind of bored doing just one event, so. The pentathlon might be one of the hardest events to succeed at in indoor track and field. One of the events you have to do, the shot put. But you also have to do long jump, high jump, hurdles, and to top it all off, an 800 meter sprint. And so far, Gauthier has done all of those events really well. When Gauthier competed in her first pentathlon of the year at the Bates Invitational back in mid-January, she put up a score that landed her in fifth place in the country for D3 athletes at the time, qualifying her for the New England Division III championships. I don't know, it was kind of, it was a shock. It was early in the season, which was kind of nice to just see like where everybody was, but um, yeah, it was, I didn't expect it, honestly. I mean, Skylar, she, she's an animal, truly. Like, she, she takes it so seriously, she cares. But even the best of the best know that there's always... A lot of room for improvement, that's for sure. <laughs> However, Gauthier and her coach have different ideas in regards to where she needs improvement. My toughest event is probably hurdles, score-wise. It's just, like, not the best overall, but it's okay. I still have a lot of work to do. I personally think hurdles is her strong point. I think we need to put it together in competition and her biggest, her, her biggest barrier with the hurdles is just truly herself and with the hurdles it really, it really takes just no fear. I mean, you have to charge full speed into these things. And luckily for Gauthier, she's had a training buddy to help her out her entire life, or more specifically, a twin sister, Alexis, who has trained and competed with Skylar since the very beginning. I do a lot of my training with Skylar anyways, so I think it's kind of helping her. I'm still, you know, putting the reps in and doing everything with her, so it's pushing her a lot. But don't be fooled. There's definitely still a sibling rivalry here. No, there's competition. No, it's kind of, it's kind of a weird thing that um, like growing up our family just told us like when you're on the line and stuff you're racing each other and then once when you cross the finish line you're your sisters again so. After crossing the finish line in her most recent pentathlon at the Williams Invitational, Skylar finds herself still well inside the top 50 in the country for D3 pentathlon scores. And with the New England D3 championships coming up next weekend, the sky might be the limit for Skylar. I don't know, if I can go to nationals, then I can go to nationals, but um, I just really want a good score for uh, D3s. For Inside Owl Athletics, I'm Matt Holderman.